<clears throat> Muslim beliefs. Muslims believe in the one unique, incomparable, which, all right, whatever, merciful God, the sole creator, master, sustainer, and cherisher, cherisher feel cherished, from on high, sometimes. All right. Mm. Sustainer and cherisher of the universe. So he's cherishing the universe or something. Maybe the universe being infinite, perhaps. I don't know. Who can? I'm the last one who's going to be able to explain it to you. All I've done is watch some documentaries and you know, read Stephen Hawking. <laughs> All right, audio book, and it wasn't done by him. <laughs> uh. And the angels created by him and the prophets through whom his revelations were brought to man, to humankind, in the day of judgment and in individual accountability for actions and God's complete authority over destiny. Okay, so we're just going to dispense with that whole free will business. <laughs> That's fine. I never believed in it anyway. <sighs> In God's complete authority over destiny, be it good or bad, and in life after death. Yeah, they believe in that too. As a matter of fact, that's the big thing, I believe. I think that's the common denominator. They all want to live forever, or at least not die. And if they do want to die, then they want to be alive again except this time forever without me dying. And you know, if I could grant wishes, I would grant that wish to them. Although I think I might get bored after a while. Especially if I got to like be, uh, you know, forever or singing in a choir and I don't know, playing a harp and nah, yeah. Doesn't sound good to me. None of those things do. <sighs> God's final message to humanity was revealed to the last prophet, Muhammad, through the archangel. Yeah, well, that's that's just that's interesting. I mean, and when it comes right down to it, if you want to be a Christian, you got to believe that Paul he was struck blind and, and had a vision and a conversion on the road to Damascus, and was hearing voices and seeing visions, and uh, knew more about J.C. than anyone who'd ever known him when he was alive. And he seemed to have a different J.C. in mind. And then I, like I said, um, the Islam booth, I did kind of make a little mention about when they were talking about Muhammad. I did so well. You know, one could say the same thing about Joseph Smith. He made the same claims. But we don't believe him, do we? And why don't we believe him? But we must believe those other things. Yeah, I mean, do what you want, I suppose. But um, not for me. Anyhow, um, Muslim beliefs, anyway. Done deal.